And welcome back to another Viper tutorial and this time we're going to be showing you guys how to set up ad mob tracking within your Viper monetization dashboard. Now as you'll see here we are in our monetization page and all we're going to be doing is going to our monetization settings. Make sure you have en enabled the ad monetization tracking and let's hit ad mob. And as you can see we have four different options that we need to put in. These first two client ID and client secret need to be generated through the Google Cloud project console. And we'll show you guys how to do that. Publisher ID and app ID can be found easily within your AdMob console. All you need to do is for publisher ID, go to your uh, settings within your AdMob uh, dashboard, and you'll see something called publisher ID. And for app ID, all you need to do is go to the app that you're trying to do. Like if we had test game here, dash Android on Google AdMob, all you need to do is go into your app settings of that app and click app ID and you'll see, and you'll get copied that app ID and you can just input that over here. Now to get the client ID and client secret, we need to go into a Google Cloud project. And I have a fresh new project here that I just created. And I'm going to be going through what it's going to be like if you have not created a, a fresh new project. And I'll tell you what you will need to do. So from here, let's go ahead and enable some APIs. So we really need the AdMob API. And we're in the API services section on your Google Cloud project. And let's go ahead and enable that API. And from here, we're going to want to go to credentials. If we hit create credentials, we want to OAuth client ID. And as you can see, I get kind of stopped here because we need a, since this is a fresh new project, we need to configure a consent screen. So let's go into consent screen. Let's call this consent screen a external uh, consent. And this is just basic, put in app name, support email, and that's it. We'll take it. This is just for not really needed. Just got to go through it. Yeah, just save and continue. Keep on going. And let's head back to dashboard. And then you'll see it's in testing mode. Let's hit that to publish. And verification not required. Uh, it's, again, it's just some basic stuff that you need to be doing just to get the OAuth consent screen. Now we can go back to credentials, go back into create credentials, go into OAuth client ID. Now hit web application. And now we can get started. Now, so the OAuth consent screen before, if you already had a project set up before with your, with a previous consent screen that you had to do, if you remember, if you had to do it before when you were doing some sort of type of authentication in your game or your app or something like that for, you know, whatever service, then it will just use that OAuth consent screen. You don't need to set this up again, but since this is a fresh new project, you had to do that with OAuth consent screen. But if you don't, then don't worry about it. Just go ahead and create an OAuth client ID and you guys will be directed to this page. Let's call this Byte Brew. Add mob credentials creds and we need to set up our authorized JavaScript origin from here let's click on this one we want just our basic dashboard URL authorized redirect URIs we want this one right here got the comma with it and then from there let's hit create And boom, we get set up with the client ID. Let's copy those. Let's go back into here. Let's paste them in. Now, let's just call this test. This needs to be your publisher ID, but I'm just putting in stuff. So once you guys have your publisher ID and app ID in there, all we need to do is hit authorize. And you'll see that what account you want to do to Byte We want to do that one. And you'll see that Byte wants access to AdMob data, and that's the only thing that you should be asking for. So make sure it's uh, see your AdMob data read only, and hit continue. And boom, we have successfully authorized uh, Google AdMob to give us uh, AdMob data inside of your monetization dashboard. All we need to do now is hit refresh, and we'll see it within our update network settings, and we can remove it anytime we want to. That is how you guys input AdMob into your monetization dashboard in ByteBrew. I hope you guys found this very helpful, and please give it a like and subscribe to the ByteBrew tutorial channel. Thank you.